an insatiable curiosity. And my last video, I was using uh, Zig Art and Graphic Twins and Zig Brushables on tracing paper. And I mentioned testing other water-based markers on them <laughs> to see how they perform. And I have a lot of other water-based markers. So I'm going to be quickly going through Tombow ABT's Marvy LaPlume, LaPlume 2's, Marvy LaPlume 2's, Distress Watercolor Markers, and Zig Clean Color Markers on just standard tracing paper. It's flick tracing paper, it's very cheap. So um, in my other video, I colored this illustration. Now underneath is the line art and I'm going to composite the two together digitally in Photoshop. So it's with that technique in mind that I'm going to test these markers out. And my eyes are just kind of scanning for something with a line art. This is actually a different thing. Just to, you know, <laughs> have a very basic sort of thing to color, you know, a goal in mind. And I'm grabbing some masking tape. I just wanna tape. Um, usually I would tape the two together, but I'm just gonna tape it down. And the reason this isn't a full review for the other markers is simply that um, the Zig Art and Graphic Twin and the Zig Brushables are kind of my favorite water-based markers right now. So, you know. So over here is Brushable Art and Graphic Twin and a Tombow ABT Blender, which I've been using a lot. Over here, I've grabbed, actually, let me grab. Okay. So I've got a Koi coloring brush here. I did a review on those not so long ago. So far, it seems to handle nicely on the paper. Um, it is a little wet, uh, probably Art and Graphic Twin levels of wet. And it can be blended with a Tombow ABT. So let me clean my ABT off. It can be layered for additional uh, depth of color. Now I'm gonna use the Koi blender. Let me see if I can get in there for you guys, sorry. The Koi blender also works. So I'm gonna clean that off. All right, so Koi coloring brushes work fine, yes, on tracing paper so far. Now we're going to do Tombow ABT. Uh, a little stiffer on this paper than the um, Zig Art and Graphic Twin, but it seems to work okay. Not as much ink is put down, um, which isn't actually a problem, just a note. Let's see. Got some of the blue still on it. I didn't do a good job getting all of it up. It seems to blend all right on the tracing paper. Let's see how it layers. So it seems to layer okay. It is, um, I mean, the paper isn't buckling as much as it was with the, the Art and Graphic Twin, but these do work on it. Let's try the Marvy LaPlume, which are LaPlume 2, which are kind of my least favorite um, art water based markers. Because the brush is already like getting really chewed up. Actually, I'll stick with the Tombow, although the Marvy has a blender too. So these blend fairly well, can transfer color like that as well if you want to for lighter areas. Colors will build up so they can be layered for intensity. Okay, so it looks like Marvy LaPlumes also work. 
clean off my blender. And you do not want to use water, like a water brush on this because it will cause the paper to pill. Okay, so now we've got a distress marker. These are watercolor markers. They are not my favorites. If you're interested in seeing what I thought about distress markers, please check my blog, madosoup.blogspot.com. They do blend with the Tombow ABT on this paper. They do appear to layer, although I think they probably saturate the paper more than other markers do. So, or, well, they saturate the paper a lot. The, paper, the markers that are going to saturate the paper the most seem to be, at this point in time, the Zig Art and Graphic Twin. So if you are concerned about your paper buckling on you, the Art and Graphic Twin, you should probably skip. Color buildup isn't all that noticeable. Zoom in. Do blend with the Tombow ABT though. All right, so we've got one, one more that I'm gonna to test today, and it's the Zig Clean Color Real Brush. Now, Clean Color does have other, um, there are other markets in the Clean Color line, and it is part of the Zig memory system, so it will work and match with uh, your art and graphic twins and your brushables. I just only happen to have The real brush. Oh, gross. It's still dirty. Seem to blend. Color can be transferred over like that. So that's cool. This is kind of a bright color. So I'm going to go for something that, like skin tone, that seems like it would, uh, you would be able to tell if it layered. One of the wetter markers. So, cleaning off my Art of Tombow. That blue hair really looks electric, doesn't it? So these will layer, although the difference in color isn't all that significant. So, um, also the paper is still pretty wet and pretty Buckley. So it seems like Zig products, specifically the Clean Color Real Brush and the Art and Graphic Twin, are going to put down a lot of wet on your paper, which can cause buckling, which can cause problems. Um, but it seemed like all of the markers I tested in this quick little review work fine on tracing paper, at least within the confines of this short review. This is what it looks like without the line art. Um, her face is definitely the wettest area on the paper. Kind of a neat stained glass sort of result. And when you're removing the tape, you need to be very careful because it will tear your tracing paper. So I hope you guys found that mini review useful. I hope it inspires you and I hope it opens up new possibilities in water-based markers for you guys. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys have a great day. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.